Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. We've been doing a series of videos of all the IITs in terms of how to get in, what kind of cutoffs would get you, what branch in each of the IITs and also the placements, the kind of companies that come in, the kind of average salaries and the median salaries that are being offered by these companies. We've been discussing that for all the IITs. And now we're going to discuss IIT Kharagpur. Before I move further, if you're not subscribed to BTEC 360, do it right now because this will be a single point destination for you to be informed on everything to do with BTEC education in the country and we'll be covering every single college in this country, which is good. So we'll cover IITs, NITs, IIITs and everything. So subscribe to BTEC 360. And two, we're going to cre we have created a comprehensive guidebook on IITs, their admissions, the cutoffs, the rankings, the placements, the kind of companies, the salaries, everything that we created. Go to the link below, click on that and download the uh, book if you want it because it will have every single information that you want about IITs. Moving ahead with the IIT Kharagpur, we're going to discuss the branch wise cutoff, the placement, the median salary and the top recruiters. To begin with, what is IIT Kharagpur all about? It was established in 1951 one of the earliest IITs that you have in this country, which essentially means 75 years. Right, 75 years. It was born much before even your parents were born. That's as old it is. It's an institution of national importance, which essentially means that it is reports to the government of India. It's, it also creates courses which are important for the nation. That's why it's called institution of national importance, right? Uh, it is spread over 2100 acres, one of the largest IIT campuses that you have in this country. Right. The ranking is fifth best engineering college in this country, which essentially means that it's by the government of India. It's not a private ranking by the government of India. It is called NIRF ranking, which is National Institutional Ranking Framework. In that, it is ranked as the fifth best engineering college in the country. The total number of students for undergrad is 3303, of which 82% are boys and 18% are girls. Right. And about 85% students come from outside the state. Right. So that is what we are talking of. And by the way, 14 students come from outside the country also. So it is very, very well structured at this point in time. Right. That is about IIT Kharagpur in a nutshell. Now let's talk of what we are here talking about, which is placements. The placement data that I'm going to show you here is what's been filed with the government of India. And typically the placement don't, you know, sway dramatically. So we've, what we've done is Though we have 3425 data, that is from the institute. Whereas what we wanted to take or show to you is the government of India data as filed latest in the last, in the month of April this year, right? So when we looked at that data, there were 717 students who were admitted in 2324, of which 679 graduated, 517 were placed, 83 moved for higher education. Now I keep saying this, I increasingly when I look for opted for higher education, uh, higher studies, I have a big question mark because off late since the ranking framework came in to increase the percentage of placement institutions have been, you know, uh, pushing people to move for higher studies when they're unable to place, which seems to have happened here also because earlier it was 40 only and suddenly it jumped to 83. And that raises a big red flag in my head because one of the things that we noticed again is that, you know, uh, in the good branches where placements are good, people are not moving to higher studies. And in not so good branches, uh, you know, when placements are bad, there are more students moving for higher studies. So there clearly seems to be a pattern about this opting for higher studies. But anyways, the placement percentage is 86.74% because 679 minus 83 is what they start working on. On that, 517 students were placed. So about 600 students graduated and, you know, when you reduce this, 596 actually, and 517 were placed, so 86.74%. And the median salary is 19.76 lakh. Again, if you look at this whole thing, by the way, this is Government of India data. So that is where I am questioning, you know, look at the kind of dramatic shift. You know, from 24 lakh, it moved to 19.76 lakh. There's a drop of about close to 20%. Again, it creates a problem in my head because where did this 25, 24 lakh come? Is this wrong or is this wrong is a question that keeps bothering me. But increasingly, I see this pattern where, you know, the median city is varying dramatically as much as, uh, you know, uh, your number of students who are moving to higher studies is also moving dramatically. But so be it. Having said all these things, IIT Kharagpur is one of the best Indian colleges in the country, fifth best Indian college in the country, no doubt about that. Now coming to the cutoff. At what rank of GE Advanced would you be able to get a seat in IIT Kharagpur and in which branch will you get it? What we're talking of here is category ranks, right? We are talking of only category ranks. We're only talking of category ranks at this point in time. 
So to get B.Tech Computer Science and Engineering, you need to be the general quota 466 rank is what you're dealing with to get. So that's the last rank at which you could get a seat in IIT Kharagpur last year. This is last year's data. For EWS category rank 78, you could still get in there. OBC category rank 212, you could get into CS. SC category rank 108, you can get into uh, you know, CS. And ST 68 category rank, you could get into CS. Similarly, for AI, it was 953 for general category. For B.Tech Electronics, it's 1485. For Electrical Engineering, it's 1985. And for B.Tech Instrument Engineering, it's 2741. When we're talking of this category rank, we actually talked of gender male. Because the extra numeracy of girls is something that we held back because it's distorting the entire process. But if anyone wants more information on this, our guidebook has all this data. Please look at the data. It will also have the extra numeracy seats and how, uh, you know, how it went about. And we also removed a disability because that also was distorting the data. So we try to create something which is much more easily palatable in terms of understanding, which is where we, this entire thing happened. So AI, it is 953 for general category, 143 for EWC category, 381 for OBC uh, NCL category, 268 for SC category, 90 for ST category. For electronics, 263 for EWS, 646 for OBC, 393 for SC and 192 for ST. For electrical, 333 for uh, you know, EWS, 884 for OBC, 560 for SC and 246 for ST. For instrumentation engineering, 463, 1227, 943 and 787, please take a uh, picture of that and you will be able to understand this better. Moving forward, what are the other branches that we are talking of? For mechanical, it is 4016 for general category. For inst industrial engineering, 4329. For aerospace engineering, 4872. Chemical engineering, 5222. And manufacturing and science, uh, science and engineering, 6574. And you can please download at a category wise also. Moving further. Metallurgical and Materials Engineering, 7708 is the closing cutoff rank last year. 7774 for Civil Engineering, 9224 for Biotechnology and Biochemical Engineering. Ocean Engineering is 10,074. Mining Engineering is 10,765. And Agriculture and Food Engineering is 11,111. And then you also have the category ranks across the board. You can check that out and you'll understand where you are likely to stand. By the way, these are all JE Advanced Ranks and at a category level. So we're talking of only the category rank, please understand that. Now, what are the companies that come for placement at IIT Karakpur? Companies like Airbus, Bosch, Ford, GM, Honeywell, ExxonMobil, Bajaj, Shulmunga, Mercedes-Benz, Suzuki, Tata Steel, l and Rolls-Royce, P&G, HUL. You also have, uh, you know, MasterCard and all, Accenture, consulting company, American Express, a bank, Fractpool, uh, Appwood, Stanchart, a bank, HSBC Bank, DC Advisory, which is a investment banking firm, JP Morgan, investment banking. So you actually have all kinds of companies, right, from tech to FMGG to, uh, you know, consulting companies to banks to investment banks. You have all kinds of companies going there for placement. Now, we also looked at the LinkedIn profile to understand how the students of IIT Karpur have been performing because, you know, it's been there for such a long time. So obviously, there are so many alumni who claim that they studied at IIT Karakpur, have studied at IIT Karakpur, and what are they doing at this point in their life? When we looked at data, data we found 81,000 students who studied at IIT Karakpur to be on LinkedIn. And when we dug deeper into this, 470 of them are right now working in Microsoft, 8225 are right now working in Deloitte, 132 are right now working in EY, and 417 are right now working in Qualcomm. At some point in time in Microsoft, 1,510 students were working. Many of them would have moved on because they had better careers, they moved companies, they moved jobs and those kind of things. But overall, 1,510 st students of this 81,000 for some time had worked at Microsoft and right now 470 are working. And similarly, the other data, Deloitte was 840 at, uh, over a period of time, 742 for EY and Qualcomm for 906. But we also wanted to understand the big companies, the trillion dollar companies, uh, are they recruiting at uh, you know, IIT Karakpur? And if so, how many are still working? When we looked at that data, in Meta, at this point in time, 182 students who studied at IIT Karakpur are working at Meta. At Apple, 216 are working. At Amazon, 530 are working. At Netflix, 5 are working. And uh, at Google, 658 are working. Right? So, this is the kind of numbers that you're dealing with. Uh, and very clearly, you know, there seems to be a pattern where uh, many of these students are getting placed in very, very good companies because of which they continue to work and over a period of time also you actually have this data. Now, when we looked at alumni locations, uh, this is very important in a certain sense because we were trying to understand 
how uh, the students uh, are performing in the in the roles and where are the working where are the living and those kind of things 80% of the students of who studied at IIT Kharagpur are right now in India right of course because it's uh, from the state 17% are in west bengal 14% are in karnataka because it's a software capital so they will be working here of which 13% are in bangalore so you will actually see a pattern where the greater the development and the greater the foreign um, you know multinational corporations and big corporations you will actually have students moving in those places so bangalore obviously hits the thing followed by bombay at 4126 uh, and Hyderabad at 4015. So obviously software capital. But the more important thing is that 20% students of IIT Kharagpur who are in the around the world, you know, they are they are working around the world, of which 13% are in USA. 10,425, which is 13% are in USA. So the USA population of IIT Kharagpur alumni is as good as what it is in Bangalore. It's as good as that, right? Of course, UK, there are 2% students working. Canada, 830 students. UAE, 682 students. Singapore, 629. So, basically, Germany, Australia, and also basically, the you know, IIT Kharagpur students are all over the world. They're really growing dramatically. And because of which, they're grabbing global roles, either because they're employed in India and move up the ladder of a global corporation, or they're going to move jobs, but it is happening very clearly, right? And if you, what we'll do is, we'll continue to cover engineering colleges like this. If you have any college that you want me to cover, please do that. And please do subscribe to BTEC360 because we are here to help you get into the best engineering college possible based on data. Thank you so much. Namaste.